Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Kobe Lomax and today I'm going to be showing you guys my updated curly hair routine. Not much has changed, honestly, but you guys always ask for a new one and I get it, like it's new, it's fresh. It's not the old one. So I'm about to show y'all how I get these results right now. So it starts off in the shower. Basically, I just rinse my hair really, really good. And the goal is to try to just rinse out any leftover gel or debris or dirt that's in your hair as possible. It kind of like lets the shampoo work a little bit better because it has to work less harder. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes sense, but you get me. Uh, next, we're gonna use the My Organic Rosemary Mint Shampoo. This is literally my favorite shampoo. Like I use it all the time and like, yeah it's really like that it really helps to stimulate hair growth and it's just so moisturizing and never leaves my hair dry but it leaves it clean you know what i'm saying so yeah i absolutely love this shampoo and i just really make sure that i'm massaging it into my scalp making sure not to scratch my scalp with my nails but to use the tips of my fingers and just apply pressure to really kind of like massage it in and then also to y'all don't forget the back of your scalp where your neck is and the crown of your head like right in the middle those areas get neglected a lot and that's why the hair and the nape of your head and the crown of your head are like normally struggling because we're not taking care of them after that you're going to rinse out the shampoo really really good make sure you completely rinse it out get it all out you do not want to leave any in there pretty self-explanatory but you know what i'm saying sometimes you got to explain things a little extra clear after that, I like to split my hair into two sections, literally down the middle for deep conditioning and detangling. This is when I detangle my hair. I do not detangle my hair dry. I do not detangle my hair any other time than when I am conditioning my hair because the conditioner adds slip. I'm using the My Organics Mongongo Oil Hydrating Conditioner. Y'all, I always tell y'all, literally any My Organics product and you're probably good. You know, that's until I create my own products, but oh, did I say that too soon? <laughs> Now, you guys know one of my dreams is to have my own hair care brand. And like now I am finally like in the very, 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 very beginning stages of like creating it. It's definitely going to be a hot minute until I actually like create my own products. But like I'm finally coming up with ideas and like really trying to like plan out like what do I want this brand to be, you know? But anyways, so now that my hair is split into two sections, I just go and I work the deep conditioner in the first section, really making sure to detangle my hair during this time. So I like to drench my hair in the deep conditioner and then really work my fingers through my hair to detangle it. And also another little trick you can do is add a little bit of water to your hair. Literally just dip your hair under the running water or like put your hand under the water and then just throw that water on your hair. It helps helps the deep conditioner have so much more slip and it just makes it like glide through your hair and it makes it so much easier. I'm telling you, you can do this with conditioner or deep conditioner, but just try it. After that, I put that side up and then I move on to the next side. once again, grabbing some more of the deep conditioner and working it in my hair and really just detangling my hair, getting all those knots out. And as you can see, like I'm stepping back to dip my hair under the water a little bit. Also making sure to pay attention to the, your crown of your head, the middle of your head, y'all do not neglect that hair in the middle now is a perfect time to really make sure that you're hydrating it and getting it nice and moisturized and deep conditioned and y'all if you're not deep conditioning once a week you need to start after i've done my finger detangling i just go in with a wet brush and i just really make sure that my hair is completely detangled and that the deep conditioner is evenly distributed all throughout my hair because this is going to sit in my hair for a little while so i normally do that and then i brush my hair all up and i put it in a bun just to get it out of my face and like off my body and then after my hair is up in a bun with the deep conditioner in it this is when i go ahead and i just take my shower and then here I am just like rubbing my fingers through my hair and feeling how hydrated and moisturized and just soft my hair is, y'all. I'm telling you, if you are not deep conditioning at least once a week, you definitely need to start. It is going to show. But then I rinse it out. And when I rinse the deep conditioner out, I turn my head upside down because I told you I just took my shower and now I'm rinsing this out. I don't want to rinse all that deep conditioner back on my clean body because that's what causes body acne. Now, while I'm still in the shower, I am going to go ahead and take my leave-in. This time I'm using the TGI in leave-in it's pretty good not nothing crazy but it's a pretty good leave-in and then i add a little bit of water water to it once again to add more slip because i'm about to work this through my hair and then i just go ahead and work it through my hair make sure pay good attention to get the like outsides of your hair like the back and the front and like the edges of your hair because those also tend to get really neglected and then just really make sure that you're getting this leave-in all the way throughout your hair because besides gel this is the only thing that's staying on your hair and you want your hair to be moisturized so this is like a layer of moisture before you go to style your hair after that i get out of the shower and i already did the rest of my head i'm just doing the front so you guys can actually see what i'm doing but i'm just taking my hair mind you i did not rinse that leave-in out it's still in my hair 
and I'm taking this wetline extreme gel this is the gel that I have been using lately in this big jar is from Amazon and it's so convenient because it's just so big it, like you never run out but then I just work the gel in my hair and I like to use a lot of gel um, because I want my hair to last like I do this once a week and then I don't have to touch my hair again if I do it right but so then I just do finger coils around my entire head and I just like wrap my finger around a little bit and then I pull the curl you see how I'm like pulling the curl and it's creating like a curl and not really like a super tight spirally coil and that's the look that I like best the curl and not necessarily a super spirally coil because then as the days go on it just kind of looks like I have like twist in my hair as opposed to like curls you know what I'm saying and I know a lot of people are like oh my god that's a lot of work but like it literally makes perfect curls and it lasts you so long, you know? And then like, once you do it enough, you get so fast at it. Like now, I literally do this whole process in like 35 minutes. Before it used to take me so long to do this. Now, like I be doing it so quick, especially if I'm not filming, I, I'm literally just doing my hair. I get this done so quick now, you guys. And then it lasts me an entire week. So to me, it's worth it. Like, because I just love when my hair literally looks perfect. Like, I feel so good. I feel so confident. Like, people give me compliments all the time, you know, when I do, when my hair looks like this. And I don't know, I just really, really enjoy how it looks. And so I do this. Everybody, this, it's your head. It's your hair. Do what you want to do with it, you know? But like, for me personally, I just really enjoy this look. And like, I love how I feel when my hair is nice and done and i just got a fresh haircut and like i got my eyebrows done and like everything is just like together i just feel so 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 confident and so good and that's one thing that i love about hair and i think that's what lights me up about making these videos and stuff is that it's just something that really helps you you know be so confident and love yourself you know so after that they sort of final results you see just really nice to find curls but they have that white stuff so we're about to get rid of the white stuff this is how i do it you just add water to it now normally i just de put my hands in the water under the sink and then splash the water into my hair because it's way faster but for video purposes i'm showing you guys with a spray bottle i just spray my hair and then i just lightly gently like smooth my hair and scrunch my hair i don't do it rough because then you're going to mess up the curls just very gently very lightly you know rub the curls or scrunch the curls and you guys can literally see the white stuff is going away like it's literally disappearing i think the water just like dilutes the product and it just like gets rid of that white stuff you know and then all of a sudden your hair just looks really nice and shiny and doesn't have any of that white stuff so this is my secret i also feel like doing this makes my curls a little bit more defined which i love so i do this literally every single time and it just literally makes it perfect you know so then i'm just doing this on the last section of my hair and then that's it like it's pretty simple especially once you start doing it like you just realize like it's not that bad and like the first time it's gonna take you a while and like you're gonna learn why you're doing this but over time it just becomes so simple and so easy wash your hair deep condition rinse the deep conditioner out put your leave-in in and then go in sections put your gel in and then do your finger coils and literally y'all and i kid you not if you're doing this consistently over time you are literally gonna see like your hair is gonna be so good and I be knowing who be doing this because when y'all be seeing me in public, like, and coming up to me and, like, talking to me, I'm like, how do they know me? Like, do they know me from school? Do they know me from this? Do they know me from that? Do they know me from TikTok, from YouTube? But when y'all hair looks flawless like this, I be knowing y'all coming from YouTube and I be so proud of y'all. And, like, for those of you who have met me in real life, y'all know, like, I am, like, so excited to, like, see y'all in person and, like, talk and, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not... I, I pray that I'm never the type of person that's like stuck up or like too full of themselves or whatever. I love seeing y'all and meeting y'all in person and talking to y'all. So it's just so great. But yeah, this is the final result. This is the final product and it just looks so good and so flawless. And then I normally let most of my hair air dry, but I hate when the hair is all in my face. You see, it's like literally covering my right eye. So I go ahead and I just diffuse the front of my head for a little bit just to help it shrink up a little bit uh, and to get it out of my face. And then you guys will see the before and after it diffuse for just literally 10, 15 minutes just to dry up the front section of my hair. You see how like it's out of my face now where before like my whole eye was literally covered. You see that? So, yeah that's that and then i'm done that's it it's so simple it's like easy it just takes a little bit of time but your hair is flawless and it lasts all week long and i do this once a week for everybody who's gonna ask how often do i do this so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful leave any questions that you have down below and i'll be more than happy to answer them 
And yeah, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys in my next video.